During this adventure, we tackled the Broken Arrow Trail, take in the views of Sedona, visit Overland Expo West, and of course, chow down at camp. Have kids. We'll explore! For this trip, we stayed at Cave Springs and avoided the crowded Expo campgrounds. This place is cozy and scenic, but noisy neighbors really reminded us why we enjoyed dispersed camping so much. Our first piece of business would be to conquer the Broken Arrow Trail, which is located about two miles past Sedona. Broken Arrow is considered a moderately difficult trail. It's about four miles out and back and took us two hours to complete. Huh? Little concerned? There's a decent amount of traffic on the trail, including the famous pink jeeps. That's enough spectating for now. It's time to hit the trail. I heard if you could clear those first two obstacles, you can complete this trail with no major issues. So I guess we're good. Go straight. Yep. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Oh, you're good. Yeah, you're good. Little driver. Driver, driver. All right, go straight down. Driver, driver, driver. Driver, more driver. Straight down.
slow. You're good. We saw pink jeeps every five minutes on the trail. If you don't have a capable rig, their tour is a good alternative. <laughs> we were surrounded by the red rock canyons of Sedona, which were truly breathtaking. You got it. All the way through. Easy peasy. Rock spider? Yeah. Oh, oh, am I going straight in there? Straight's good. Straight. Slow, slow, slow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, straight. You're clear all the way through. Yeah, just go slow over here. But you're... Just a small bump. You're good. Straight through. This trail is mainly slick rock, which is a hard and slippery surface. But if you follow the blue groove, you should have a decent amount of traction, which is all the black rubber laid down on the trail from other vehicles passing through. You're good, you're down. Bumper's clear. The final obstacle is the Devil's Staircase. A three-story drop full of steps and slick rocks. Absolutely more hair-raising than the camera reveals. Little drop. Straight ahead. Oh shit. Lou, you're there, you're, you're there. Straight ahead. Stay, stay driver a little bit. I can't see that rock. Okay, you got it. You're on the inside of that long rock. That's your slider. You got it. You're on the next step. Easy, it's gonna drop. You got it. You're good all the way down, buddy. Yeah, boy. Oh shit, I wasn't recording. No, You got it, you got it. Last drop. You're good all the way down. You're good. Slow. You're gonna drop.
Next drop is right now. You got it. You made it. Last drop on the back. And you're clear. I didn't even drive Broken Arrow and I was pretty stressed. But Drew and Chris did a great job on the trail. After a full day on the trail and some work on one of our injured rigs, it was nice to finally sit down and have a group dinner. Also, special thanks to Rick for working on Roy's brakes, which sounded like this. The food at Don Diego's was okay, but the company was outstanding. And of course, no trip was complete without ice cream. The next day was Overland Expo West. I didn't get a lot of video footage because I was trying to take it all in. But if you've never been here, it's definitely worth a visit. How's it look, Drew? I'm ready. Let's ignore the guy on the toilet for a second. But isn't this what we all want at camp? A full-size bathroom. Expo West was massive. I was like a kid in a candy store checking out all the gadgets, gear, campers, trailers, saying hi to my favorite YouTubers. According to my watch, we walked over five miles that day. Potlucks have become a mainstay in our group outings. And quite frankly, I look forward to it. There's a lot of fire restrictions in California, so it was special to have a wood-burning fire again. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and check out some of our other adventures through Monochi Meadows, Death Valley and Joshua Tree. And we'll see you on the next adventure.